Okay, we're going to start here and show a Active Directory identity feed from item. Going to read your Active Directory uh, container, pull back the user from there, basically push it into item as a data feed, and then you'll have your entry in Tim. So this is an example for Tim51. Start off logging in as the identity manager, and we're going to go ahead and show you some of the setup, and then we'll show you it in action here. So we're going to go straight to the services, which I've already set up for this. The example here will show you the parameters that we'll need to set for this. If you look here, we're talking about an AD organizational person identity feed, uh, much like the feeds you do in TDI. Um, with a different repository, you can actually take the users out of AD and pop them into TIM. That's the advantage here. So um, right off the bat, I'm going to show you the parameters that we need to look at. Um, I'm speaking to a Windows 2008 R2 server. I'm specifically looking in an OU called Wing. Um, this is my domain. I have an administrator user that's defined that has privileges. URL to the server is the LDAP URL. Note there's no port differentiation here because we're assuming port 389 is what you're using for LDAP and the naming attribute for the return is the CN. There's a section for advanced mapping, but we can look at the product later and go into that. The um, Active Directory environment is quite simple here. I have one OU under my root, and I have four users into there. Um, if we add a user here, this is what we're going to demo how it works. So we're going to add um, Helen um, Wright and HWI. Okay, so um, this Helen Wright is going to be created inside of Active Directory. Standard password. And um, user gets created, right? No magic there, that's just Active Directory creating a regular user. So note here that um, the user doesn't have an initial value for the initials, and let's just say it doesn't have a telephone number. Okay, this is on purpose here, and we're going to show you where this comes in after and a modify and how the uh, identity feed resource will not only act as an HR feed, but it'll also act as an update uh, to push stuff into Tim. So let's go out into Tim here now. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a reconcile against this service. So this target service is going to go out there and basically interrogate the Active Directory container. It's going to run a recon. It's going to search for all those users. It's going to find them and push them back into Tim. Okay. Um, go ahead and view my request. And while we're viewing that, we're going to go into LDAP. And we're going to look. So the last user I have in my LDAP tree here was this user, Jamie Love. Um, it's looking at the actual people container, and these are all the people that Tim has. So if you logged in and did a search for a person, that's where you'd find it. Let's go back up to the container and refresh Tim while it's doing its work. And as we navigate back down to that people container, our last entry should be our most recent update, which is this person we just had at Helen Wright. And here we can see the users there. Go back, <coughs> excuse me, if we go back into the Tim interface, you take a look here. The request is actually probably completed with a status of success. And if we go back into the item side here um, and we click on manage users, if we do a search for this user, we should be able to find it here. Searching by last name, and sure enough, Helen writes is here. So let's take a look at some of the parameters here, which is the detail that I want you to notice. The only thing we entered in AD was last name, full name, preferred user ID, and the first name. Note that there is no information for the user's initials, and there is no contact information for a telephone number. So let's go back over to AD, and let's modify this user. And we're going to give her initials of Hel HHW, Helen, Helen Wright, and a phone number something and we'll just say apply. So we've done that in AD, it's good. In Tim, it doesn't have it. Let's go back into Tim and we'll fire off another reconcile to say interrogate that target and um, bring me back the details of that user. So this is where you're actually looking at an update to a data feed. So let's kick off our recon here. Submitted, we'll wait for the view request. We'll cheat and go straight into the LDAP onto the back side here. And once we do a refresh on the back end repository, we should be able to see the update before the Tim UI displays the results. And here we go. So you can now see the telephone numbers in place and the initials are in place. Uh, if we refresh the Tim UI, 
should almost be caught up here to display it. The Team UI is going through its workflow, but actually it's just, there it goes, taking a second. Um, so we see the update is done. Let's go back and search for the user. And we'll see that in the UI as well. And here's our user. Come on right. And if we go back and look at that, we see now she has initials. And under the contact information, there's the telephone number. So this is just a basic one here. Um, you can change a lot of these mappings so that certain attributes map to certain other attributes from Active Directory into Tim for the person record. Um, you can assign things um, such as some information relative to a role, um, different attribute or department, and that would translate to Tim and where the user could then get some auto provisioning. So for now, that's the example of how to get your users in from an Active Directory resource in a specific OU brought them back into ITIM, um, basically using the out-of-the-box identity feed mechanism that we allow um, to pull those users back out of your Active Directory resource. All right.